In our interesting news of the day, three fugitive Texas Democrats test positive for COVID after packing into a 100K private jet, wearing no masks to flee to D.C., and meet with Kamala Harris, having sabotaged state's voting reform. We'll just focus on the 19, the super spreader. There's a lot to be said about the whole way they went about it. But I would say this, though, if you are somebody on the right, you can't necessarily hate on the method they took, but yet at the same time have cheered the methods that the Oregon Republicans took last year. And I'll flash that story up there if you aren't familiar with it. I figure most of you are. Most of you watch these videos are kind of in the know about these things. But you can't hate on this group of Democrats here and then be cheering on the Republicans. If you are, then you're a total partisan hack. That's all I would say. But let's focus on these idiots here. Because unlike the Oregon representatives, I don't necessarily know that they took it to this extreme. There's a lot to be said about private jets. Styling and profiling, meeting with Harris. I hear they're living it up pretty good in hotels. And this has been going on for, what is it, six days now? At the time I'm recording this video, or six days when you'll see it. We'll see how long this goes on, but it's all on the taxpayer dime. Well, 60 Democratic lawmakers from Texas fled the state on Monday to block the passing of an election integrity bill proposed by Republicans. Democrats packed into a private plane bound for D.C. and did not wear face masks. We've got a photo below. Where did this private plane come from? You guys probably know where it came from. In the intervening days, the group has met with many high-powered politicians in the nation's capital, including Harris. However, three of the Texas Democrats have now tested positive for the 19. All three have been fully vaccinated but one of the lawmakers is experiencing symptoms. And given the fact that they'll get the 1% of the 1% healthcare treatment, you would imagine they'd be fine, even though a lot of them seem to fit the description of individuals who would be at most risk. They charter two flights to Washington, D.C. that purportedly cost a whopping $100,000. So they chartered those flights, $100,000 of taxpayer money. You'll have individuals on the Democrat side or their constituents that support them. Go team, go, we're doing it. When you sit there and you think about that though, $100,000 of taxpayer money, if that's the case. Now granted, they could surely probably figure out a way to get that money back to taxpayers or, and granted this is my not understanding how it worked, but some wealthy Democratic donor in Silicon Valley or Wall Street could step up and easily say, oh, well, we'll cover the cost for them. If it works that way, I don't know. If it does, you can let me know below. The group has been staying at a plush hotel in the nation's capital and schmoozing with many high-powered politicians, like they said above. Several of the state's Texas Democrats have publicly endorsed wearing face masks, but it seems they are not so enthused about using the coverings in private. The Austin Statement claims that the group has only used masks sparingly, at meetings in DC, but don't you know, you, you can't take a selfie these days in a mask. I mean, nobody's going to see you out there fighting the man, right? Resist, resist. You have to have your face mask off. It, it's around their necks, right? Around their necks? I, oh wait, but look at this monster. And some of these individuals here, this one, maybe this one, you can't see who's in I guess the unimportant ones were way in the back. <laughs> but these individuals fit the... Dis God, that's, she's hideous. They fit the description of people who, by and large, have statistically contracted the 19 far more than others. Right? Overweight individuals, obese, possibly diabetic, things of that nature. Officials have not released the names of the three Democrats who have contracted the coronavirus, but they are now in self-isolation and will stay there for at least 10 days. 10 more days in that luxury hotel. Hopefully the mini bar stays stocked, I guess, for them. The outbreak was discovered on Friday when one of the lawmakers tested positive after taking a rapid COVID test. Others from the group were subsequently tested on Saturday morning and two were found to be positive. One of them is said to be experiencing mild symptoms. All three of the infected 
officials are fully vaccinated, which they stated above as well. More fo Oh, wow. Okay, so we got more photos. Okay, so she's here. So there are, wow, look at the size of these women. Holy cow, that whole row could easily be wiped out. What are we doing here? This looks like, okay, on a bus. Same old donkey here. This one, whoa. There is a lot of, a lot of girth here. This one maybe doesn't look too shabby for an older lady. Hmm. According to the Austin American Statesman, there was a noticeable increase in the use of face coverings among lawmakers and Democratic staffers at their hotel on Saturday morning. In a statement on Saturday, Rep. Chris Turner, the chairman of the House Democratic Caucus, said, The House Democratic Caucus is following all CDC guidance and protocols. Hmm. This is a sober reminder that COVID is still with us. See how they turn it around, right? And though vaccinations offer tremendous protection, we still must take necessary precautions. We are in touch with public health experts in Texas to provide additional guidance. Our caucus will follow all recommendations from public health experts as we continue our work. At least in that quote, he doesn't place the blame on the idiots. He tries to flip it in a sense to make it a PSA, like a dick bag would. The Texas Democrats fled the Lone Star State in order to break quorum and block the Republican-controlled Texas State House from passing new voting rights legislation. You heard what happened with Abbott. Looks like he wants to have them arrested when they come back into the state, but having them arrested just requires them coming back into the State House and then going through the voting process on this bill. So it's not like straight to jail like Monopoly. Republicans are seeking to pass two new election integrity bills, whereby voting would be allowed on election days from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., and male voters would also be asked to verify their identities with a state ID number or the last four digits of their social security number. The horror of it all! But Democrats have called the bills restrictive and say they are designed to turn citizens off voting and restrict access to the polls in minority communities. <sighs> Huh? 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 Oh. Oh. Minority communities. At least they didn't say those most affected. People of color. Again, because uh, maybe they're learning. Maybe they're learning that when you act like individuals who are minorities are too dumb to get an ID, can't find a DMV, in here don't know the last four of their social security number, when you keep acting this way, maybe they're finally learning, the Democrats are, that that's a turnoff, that anybody is wise enough to find a DMV and get an ID. And if there aren't in a lot of states, as I said here about California, you can get a fee waiver. You can apply and get a free ID if you get approved. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe they're finally learning here because they say restrict access to the polls in minority communities. They don't just say the typical line, people of color. We'll get down to the comments now. We're done with this. We get the story. The group, and I'm sure you're laughing by now at these idiots, but again, like I said, the process itself of what they're doing, you can't call them out if you were supporting the Oregon Republican legislators last year. Same thing. The group are staying at the Washington Plaza Hotel, where rooms start at $199 a night. Their decision to flee infuriated their Republican rivals, who have voted to arrest them when they return to the state. Okay. One of the queen idiots, nice B-roll shot of the Washington Plaza, nice place. I'll probably never be able to stay. Who are these? Texas Democrats exit, okay, to board coach buses. So these individuals, what is she doing with her kid there? Why is her, I'm presuming that's her, is she one of the legislators and how is her kid with her? Hmm, interesting. It's, it's a vacation. Come on, Junior. Let's go on vacation. All right, let's get to the comments. Oh, look at one of these idiots. Donna Howard. An idiot from Texas, one of the state representatives, was mocked on Thursday morning, it says down here, after posting a picture of her clothes, saying she washed them in her sink. You bet we're recognizing and honoring our country's heritage. As most Texans, though, this is what we're doing tonight, using whatever is accessible. Washing our clothes in the sink. Hashtag Texas Ledge. She's really, okay, she got the bra up there. Is this a panty? She's got the leopard with the leopard. So $199 a night hotel, but woe is me having to wash my clothes in the sink. 
at that $199 a night hotel. And she really thought this was going to fly. She really thought people were going to send some sympathy her way. My first meal as a fugitive, delicious. <laughs> I will give this guy credit. It looks like he's one of the reps here. Democrats breakfast only includes fruit, yogurt, and coffee. No steak, whiskey. What a wuss. You should pay me. Being a Fox reporter is easy. Or should say is as easy as falling off the back of a pickup truck. <laughs> I'll give him credit for that jab there. It's kind of funny. Look at this. Here, Fox News, I made you this. I hope you like it. Hmm. Let's see what the comments say. This is just hysterical beyond words. Democrats have been slamming Trump supporters who aren't vaccinated, and now their clowns turn up COVID positive, and they were near the cackling hyena to boot. People catching the virus thing after being vaccinated, just me saying, tells me the vaccine doesn't work. Well, you can always catch something. There's been years where I've gotten the flu shot, and I've still gotten the flu that year. Doesn't work. That's for you to decide for yourself, for you to decide if you want to get the vaccine. I'm not getting it. I don't plan to get it. I work out, baby. I do my best to try to make sure I don't put myself health-wise in a situation where these things would impact me, but you do what you got to do on that front. But I would say, though, that nothing's 100%. To say it doesn't work is disingenuous, I think, if you see the way the numbers have been decreasing. There's a lot of people that are likely better off taking it, and there's some individuals, perhaps such as myself, that don't need it. Perhaps you're in that boat as well. Let's get one thing straight. There's nothing elite about the modern left. My two high school dropout cousins from Iowa, never even one passport between them, are super woke libs. <laughs> Spray them with bleach before entering Texas airspace. <laughs> Bunch of hypocritical elitists. <laughs> Can't wait to see Peace Sucky twist herself into knots trying to defend them. A Republican would have tested positive before getting off the flight. Gosh, all you repukes should be proud of them for spreading what you don't believe in. LOL. Hm. Interesting take. Seems like somebody's still living in make-believe world from 2020. Somebody watches a lot of mainstream media. <laughs> the old what they don't believe in talking point, huh? This person probably still believes that Russia interfered in our election. Idiots, pack of rats, plane full of donkeys. The jokes write themselves. He ha. AOC is missing. She does have them teeth. Reminds me of that Tiger Woods joke that was told by Chris Rock. He said, and this is of AOC if she were, you know, playing both sides of the field. The joke was, he said, Tiger Woods is the type of brother that could go down on a chick and give her a hysterectomy. I guess AOC is that same type of individual that could go down on a chick. And I guess she could neuter a guy with those teeth. All right, I've given my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Texas Democrats, hypocrisy of it all. Rules for thee, not for me. The elites pushing rules that they don't want to adhere to. We've seen it time and time again over the past year and a half. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and hopefully you all are doing well.